Hello, and welcome to the Engender Archives. If you're watching this video, you're probably wanting to know about the Engender mod Zombies, the main focus of any player's army. Without zombies, an army won't be as powerful, barring boss mobs of course. To get your own zombie, you only need to stick an egg and a piece of rotten flesh with the addition of a sand block if you want to make a husk, and a shapeless crafting recipe to craft a fusion part. Once crafted, the fusion part must be fused in the special mob spawner of the engender mod. Then with a piece of coal in the fuel slot and the fusion part in the fusing slot, you must wait for 5 seconds or 50 if it's the husk item for the item to fuse into the spawn item. Zombies are decently tough on their own, but their main strength comes from their ability to have items equipped. They have 20 HP, 2 natural armor points, and deal 4 melee damage. If they're husks, they'll inflict the hunger effect on hit enemies on normal and easy difficulty, and they'll inflict weakness on hard mode. They have a slight upwards knockback effect when they hit you. Zombies will burn in sunlight unless they're babies, wearing a helmet, sitting in shade, or sitting in water. However, a zombie's armor and damage can be increased with equipped armor and tools or weapons. Lastly, zombies have the swarming trait. The swarming trait means that the zombie will do extra damage when it's in groups of other zombies. The bigger the horde, the more damage they can do. This even translates between zombie types, such as a husk and a villager zombie counting to the horde count. This can be a real advantage against strong enemies for either tanks or glass cannons. It also stacks with held items. Many equipped items or armor on zombies actually have special effects. For example, zombies can use elytra. When equipped, or if the owner player is flying with their own elytra, the zombie will jump high into the air with magic springs and start flying. They can do dive bomb attacks this way too. If a zombie holds a shield in their offhand, they can block an attack every 5 seconds giving them an intense but brief speed boost to close the distance to the enemy. If a zombie dual wields two tools, they will do double damage, making short work of most enemies and allowing them to severely damage tier 5s. If a zombie is given a flint and steel or a fire charge, they will light the enemy on fire. Lastly, holding a totem of undying will save a zombie when it is dealt a killing blow. If you're facing down an army of zombies or your enemy's team composition involves them, which will happen, you should use mobs that have ranged attacks. Zombies are slow moving and can't close the distance easily with speed boosts, so skeletons blazes Shulkers Evokers Withers And snow golems in a pinch will deal with them Of course, super powerful mobs such as giants, ender dragons, and weather storms will work too. Portals actually don't do as well against hordes of zombies, as zombies do bonus damage to buildings, so a large, cheap horde of zombies can take down a portal. However, this only applies to regular portals. The portals added in engender mod add-ons such as Draconic Evolution or Abysselcraft mop up zombie hordes as easily as you mop up a wet counter. Lastly, making a zombie a hero grants it the special attack called Heroic Roar. The zombie will suddenly and rapidly do minor sonic damage to all enemies within 48 blocks and then yell, 
giving all your allies the same buffs as if they had just been afflicted by a morality horn. Morality horns boost both the speed and attack stats of your mobs. This also works in a pinch for defeating bosses with damage caps more easily, as invulnerability frames are constantly set to zero if the zombie is yelling, which allows more powerful mobs, or yourself, to hit them with their strongest attacks. This allows for some insanely fast boss kills. That wraps up this and gender archives video on the zombie. If you enjoyed, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and turn those notifications on to be notified every time a new video comes out. Links to the Engender Mod archive playlist as well as the wiki and the creator's channel. And of course the mod download will be down in the description below. See y'all next time. Peace out.